so as i promised here is one more longish letter which uh, somebody has written to me i think it's a uh, woman no it's a man right so i'm uh, as is uh, normal i'm not giving you out the name so here is the person and uh, some of those numbers may be a little inaccurate because i find there's conflict in the letter which uh, this person has sent me here it is i came to the financial independence route a little late i spent my 20s as a consumer with lot of uh, debt i realized that i turned uh, when i turned 30 that things had to change i went and got myself a term insurance and started some sips i discovered minimalism and stopped buying so much stuff and got rid of a lot of my consumer debt i still have a house mortgage and a car loan through this i also discovered that investing isn't that hard once all my debt was paid off and uh, i put my previous debt repayments into investing but i only started this at my age of 35 and uh, in all in your book also you are talking about investing at 22 23 i have not done that now at 35 i invest about 50% of my income i think that's a very good number into uh, two three mutual funds he has named it i am not naming them and uh, my main concern is have i left it too late and the magic of compounding uh, especially in my 20s and that has been lost i also have a regular uh, job which pays me about uh, 12 lakhs a year uh, my 12 lakhs is actually before tax uh, and uh, my even my pension contribution this is my ctc actually my take home is something like uh, 9 lakhs which is about 75000 per month uh, i tried for more uh, promotions but i can't imagine my income going up too much most people who retire early have this is a good one more pe- most people who retire early have well paying jobs in it they have esops uh, or they are in they work with finance and uh, financial services bfsi uh, can regular people with regular boring jobs like mine also retire early i took a lot of time to read this query because it's a very common query that people think that uh, all this financial freedom and all is only for people earning 50 lakhs 1 crore and it is not meant for people earning say 10 12 lakhs a year ctc which itself is high but at 35 10 12 lakhs doesn't look very high let us assume that even you, you are earning even less than that so the question is can you uh, can you retire will you be in a position to retire and will you be able to retire early uh, largely what happens is you are a creature of habit right so you earn an x amount you save some amount or you invest some amount and you spend the balance the question is how much do you need to uh, invest to have enough money to be able to retire so let us look at some numbers which may or may not be completely correct let us say you are estimating your she is uh, he is only 35 years of age so you have to make some assumptions about expenses etc So let us assume that by the time this person is 60, which means he uh, he has got another 25 years to go, his monthly expenses for him and his wife, uh, I'm assuming the children have gone away. He will need about uh, 12 to 13 lakhs a year for his uh, living expenses. I'm estimating it very conservatively. so assuming he has about 30 he needs about 13 lakhs uh, of uh, cash per year to live uh, multiply that by 30 he will need approximately 4 crores for his retirement 4 crores looks very big but remember this amount he does not need today he needs it after 25 years he's got another 25 years of compounding that his money is going to do he's already got 3 4 years out of that and now another 25 more years to go if you look at uh, if you've read this book the millionaire next door and you look at the kind of people who are featured you can be sure that next door to you could be a millionaire all he or she is doing is spending less 
much less than what she is earning and is able to invest the difference now if you think money is for buying big cars and fancy cars and vacations and uh, great places that's true but for that you have to first create wealth right so it's not very easy to create wealth and uh, retire early uh, i mean you you create wealth to retire early and have those big vacations those big cars etc so this man has started late so obviously he has to uh, invest more aggressively so these uh, these normal people so called normal people don't look very rich when you see them i mean if your idea of richness is uh, spending uh, the time in the windies in the beaches well this is not exactly how it works but let us look at how the math works for financial independence we have said this man needs about 4 crores and uh, with which he will be able to retire this is based on again the rule that he will be able to withdraw about 4% of his uh, uh, corpus and so 25 times uh, his annual expenses is what he will need we are adding a little bit extra so that uh, his uh, Uh, uh retirement is less stressful how long does it take to create this uh, amount of corpus of 4 crores well if you are investing depends on how much you are investing if you are investing maybe 6 lakhs a year maybe it will take about 10 years time that's all right or uh, okay sorry 6 lakhs will create about 1 crore so about uh, he will have to invest more in the later years as he earns more but right now if he is saving 50% which means he is saving about 5 lakhs approximately 5 lakhs is what he is saving will that take him there over 25 years well his contribution will be 1.25 crores it may not be very difficult for him to reach 4 crores thanks to the power of compounding and with a good asset allocation so yes and everybody is not even earning 10 lakhs so what do you do largely you cut down your expenses if you want an early retirement it is very difficult to have a very high standard of living whatever it means high whatever high means i mean for somebody at this level even having one coffee a day in a hotel can be very very expensive and absolutely stupid because it sets him back by about 200 rupees a day that is about 6000 rupees and 6000 rupees invested Uh, would work like magic right so whether it is eating out or the clothes that you choose or the vacations that you choose all this will impact your uh, early retirement right so if you earn let's say you earn 10 lakhs and you spend 4 lakhs which means you can save 6 lakhs right uh, let us assume that you earn 9 lakhs but you spend only 3 lakhs you can still save 6 lakhs so the question is not about how much you are earning the question is how well are you living within your means right and here it's just a play on words well within your means means you live far more frugally you uh, you invest a lot more and that will help you retire early right the other thing of course you can do is do a side gig and earn extra money and make sure that all that gets invested so whatever you do whatever is your choice but the following things you cannot escape earn well because if you don't earn well you cannot really invest well so earn well uh, learn a lot about investing investing is far more difficult and complicated than saving saving is very easy all you need to do is whenever you see money in your bank account go and make a fixed deposit right it is all traced to one uh, pan number so you will get all the consolidated details uh, as soon as you want so there is absolutely no problem in learning about saving investing on the other hand is a little more complicated and difficult so you will have to take the trouble to learn so earn well invest well and it is fairly obvious that you will create the corpus and uh, but remember one thing don't cut down your expenses to zero you will need to live right don't make the journey so difficult and so impossible that your family starts loathing you for that that should not happen so live well but also live well within your means right <coughs> by this small changes that you make will also add up i made a separate video on small change in habits uh, based on uh, james clear's book right so at some point you realize that saving more is not going to happen or it may look very foolish so learn about investing because investing is going to help you much better right so these small changes 
will this person be able to reach a figure of 4 crores i do think he can and uh, thanks for asking and here is my reply thank you